Hello everyone. I'm deeply honoured and humbled to take up the position of Interim President at University of Limerick today. It truly is a privilege and I will serve the University to the very best of my abilities. I want to wish outgoing President Dr. Des Fitzgerald the very best in the next stage of his endeavours. With his commitment to excellence in education and research and his passion for widening access, he has done the University proud during his tenure and most recently with his foresight and leadership during the COVID-19 pandemic. A pandemic which will unfortunately be with us for some time to come. As we prepare to welcome students back to the campus in a controlled and safe manner, most for the first time since March the 12th, we are operating in a changed world. We have become used to working and learning in the virtual space. From September 28th, our academic staff and students will move to a hybrid environment a mix of face-to-face -face and online teaching and learning, underpinned by a lot of support. At the centre of all our preparations for these changes is our responsibility to keep our community safe within UL, the surrounding area and further afield. Our swift response to the global pandemic and our cooperation with local and national institutions shows that we are drivers of innovation and change. This remains an exciting time for UL, a university that has a massive impact on the people of this region and beyond. We must continue to reach out into our communities and have greater engagement to take a leadership role in harnessing the full potential of this region and the city that we live, work and study in. This model of engaged citizenship will be at the heart of everything that I do as interim president. The university's motto is Agna Kund Nif, wisdom for action. We must be wise in our actions, and that has never been more important than it is now, where simple measures, done well, regularly and consistently, can have such a huge impact on our daily lives. At the core of our strategic plan is the intention to continue to strengthen the excellence and reputation of UL. While we must operate with a degree of caution, we will not temper our ambition for this dynamic place of learning. We still have very significant plans to grow, and we remain firmly committed to adding to our physical presence in the heart of the city. I will work with staff, students, the governing authority, our communities, stakeholders and government as we continue to develop UL as a center of learning, knowledge making and innovation. We live in such extraordinary times and we have been challenged to overcome adversity. But we must also look at this as a time of opportunity. It is a time when learning, research and knowledge exchange are central to how we will emerge from this pandemic and UL will play its part in that. I want to stress that UL will continue to promote equality and diversity and be an inclusive university for all. I would like to thank Minister Simon Harris and Niall Collins for their support for higher education and committing to addressing the longer term issue of university funding. This is absolutely vital. Finally, let me say that I want to be a president for all at UL and I hope that we can all work together to make this the greatest version of UL that it can be. Thank you very much.